Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars custom diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Strip the King Weathers in his fancy style. Now, before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> last night I came up with this paint job for Strip the King Weathers to make him look like a realistic 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Although, basically I'm just not sure if I should make more custom cars of my own or commission cars customers on social media like in like Jim Scavenger for example on who is a cars customs person and so forth although I'm not crazy about it however however anyhow with Without any further ado, let's get on with the retrospective. So, the king, sometimes the king here would take on this paint job whenever it comes to parties or any other special occasions. And now without any further ado, although, and now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his happy facial expression, his shade of blue exterior and the black on the headlights and and on the top which is which some most Su Plymouth Superbirds have and on both sides we've got the just the blue exterior and the gray rims on the black wall tires and the exhaust pipes and the exhaust, I mean the exhaust pipe, just one on the left side, and the Plymouth logo, and the big spoiler, and on the back we've got the red tail lights and the chrome silver back bumper. And underneath it says 1970 Plymouth Superbird, which is copyrighted, same way with the Plymouth logo. And now let's compare him to the normal king. So, here are some similarities and differences. Both are Strip the King Weathers. Both are based off of a 1970 Plymouth Superbird, which his voice actor Richard Petty drove in the NASCAR Cup Series. But here are some differences. Light shade of blue, a bit little dark shade of blue, 43 on headlights, black on headlights, blue on top, black on top, Dynaco logo on the hood, no, lo no tampos on the hood, 43 on top, no 43 on top, and just the, bit, the spoiler on the back, 43 on trunk, no 43 on the trunk. Plain stock tires. Light year racing tires. 43 on both. Uh, 43 on doors. No 43 on doors. Several several sponsor logos saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Mood Springs, No Stall, Little Turkey Pistons, Gasprin, Retrain, and Easy Idle. No sponsor logos. Dynaco logo, Plymouth logo, Dynaco logo in the middle, no Dynaco logo on the back, 43, number 43 on headlights, red on headlights, 
and both and both have 1970 Plymouth Superbird on the undercarriage. Vietnam, and China. Although basically this is a custom king. Although, although this version of the king here has as dressed to look like a real life car, same with Lightning McQueen, also known as Cruising Lightning McQueen, who is who was dressed to look like a fifties Corvette. And he also bears some similarities to Louie, one of my car's OCs. Cause as you can see, both are dressed to look like an and real life nineteen seventy Plymouth Superbird. And he also and while dressed in his fancy paint job, the king would have a black on the top, same way with Mia and Tia and Krusty Rodor and other vinyl two bay racers like Rev Road Ages and Will Rush, who I unfortunately don't have. And now let's pull up some of the other Weathers family members. We've got the regular Strip the King Weathers, his wife, Mrs. Linda the King Weathers, and their nephew, Cal Weathers. And some of the other Team Dynaco members, we've got Cruz Ramirez, Dynaco Lightning McQueen, Dynaco Chick Hicks, Tex Dynaco, Luke Pedalwork, and Rodor Turbo Sky. Rodor Turbo Sky? Gray, the Dynaco Hauler. And lastly, Hall and Effect Show. And some of the other muscle cars. We've got Louie, another 1970 Super Bird, who is one of my car's OCs. Barry, who is a 1970 Roadrunner. Lenny, a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. Brent Mustang Burger, who is a 1964 Ford Mustang. Mario Andretti, who is a 1967 Ford Fairlane. The Dodge Challengers, Steiner, Snotrod, and Rod Tor Gredline. And lastly, Louie, I mean, not Louie, Firebird, another car's OC of mine who is a 1982 Pontiac Firebird. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which version of the King is your favorite? Which Weathers family member slash Team Danico member is your favorite and which muscle car is your favorite and should I use some cars duplicates to make my own cars customs or should I commission someone else like Jim Scavenger for example to make cars customs of mine let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below and if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!